Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and why not play another Mario Superstar Baseball exhibition game? It's a beautiful day outside, the sun is shining, not a cloud in the sky, so I'm probably gonna go outside after this and take some swings. Maybe, why not? I'm in the baseball mode, or at least go for a run. I will definitely go for a run, but um, anyway, let's get right into another exhibition game. The MLB playoffs are in full swing now with the official start last night, the NL wildcard game, and tonight we have the AL wildcard game. Uh, you know, that's currently what's going on when this is being recorded. So hopefully it'll be up before the AL wildcard game. Anyway, um, let's go with a random team captain. We're going to go random, and we're going to be Daisy. All right, I'm going to be Daisy, and I'm going to go up against Peach. Look at that rivalry. Peach versus Daisy. Princess rivalry here. Random in three, two, one. Random. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Not the biggest fan of this of this team at all. I got Birdo though. I do have Birdo the Slugger, which is great. Piazza, I can't seem to do anything with Piazza. I don't know why. I just I can't do anything. Uh, but anyway, I do have fantastic fielding. The one upside is I do have some pretty fantastic fielding out there, so that's good. Put Tipsy Tom in the outfield. Yeah, you know the fielding on this team actually looks really great, so I can't complain too too much. But still, I'm actually gonna put Toadette in there. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be tough, tough to get any hits, but but at least I have good feeling at the very, very least. So we have the Daisy Lilies. How nice the Daisy Lilies against random at three, two, one. Uh, oh boy, oh dear. Okay, we have a lot of potential on this team. A lot of pitching. Wow, this team is stacked with pitching and some pretty good hitting too. Oh boy. Okay, okay, not bad. I can live with that. We're gonna switch to switch to Fire Bro just for some variety. We haven't seen him in a while. And switch to like Black Jack. And what color have we seen? Yellow magic. Just switch up some colors that we haven't seen in a bit. So there we go. Uh, and green, uh, purple too. Just cause. Just cause I feel like it. So there we go. The Peach Dynasties and the Daisy Lilies. This is going to be great. I love how Peach's logo, this logo has a sword in it. I think that's so cool and so different for the Mario series. Really nice. Really nice. This lineup is going to have some problems. <laughs> this lineup is going to have a bad time. Okay, we're just gonna go with that. That's really the best I have. So, anyway, and I'm just gonna go with that. Random stadium's gonna be. <laughs> All right, why not? Bowser's Castle. We're playing the Daisy Lilies at the Peach Dynasties. I am going to be away this time because I was home last time. I'm gonna put Mercy on nine innings. Let's get started at Bowser's Castle. A princess rivalry here. Princess Peach versus Princess Daisy. So this is gonna be pretty awesome. Daisy Lilies at the Peach Dynasties. This is gonna be awesome. Very excited. So anyway, let's talk about baseball a little bit. Um, the NL wild card game was last night, like I said, at the time of this game. And uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates triumph over the Cincinnati Reds. Both fantastic teams. Um, I don't like when people usually say, a lot of people are saying, oh, the Reds choke, the Reds choke. I don't necessarily agree with that. It's only one game. It's so hard to see who's going to win one game. I think choking would be like what the Yankees did back in 2004 ALCS when they lost four games in a row. That is choking to the max. But I don't choking. I mean, it's not really like in a one-game situation. Now, why am I having toads worth run? I am off on the pit. Get back. What are you doing? Uh, anyway, all right. Now we got Birdo the Slugger. So, hey, no, the Reds played a good game. Both teams played a great game, actually. Uh, so, I'm not gonna steal. Um. So, it, oh wow, another pickoff throw to first. So. I don't know. I think they both teams played a great game, but the Pittsburgh Pirates are really the su success story of this season. And I would love to see the Pirates go far in the playoffs. That would be so fantastic. Um, oh, oh, that was inside. I should have laid off, but I had Birdo swing at it. That's all right. No runs in the first, but okay. Not a bad lineup coming up for the Dynasties. Daisy <laughs> waves to all the screaming fans who are nowhere. But yeah, I'd love to see the Pirates go far. And that's funny because I actually don't, I'm not a big fan of Pittsburgh teams at all. The Pittsburgh Steelers are probably, you know, it probably has to do with the fact that I'm a New England Patriots fan, but the Pittsburgh Steelers are like one of my least favorite sports teams of all time. I'm sorry, sorry, but, um, to any fans out there, but, oh, look at Toadsworth leaping up in the air for that. That was great. But anyway, no, I do really want to see the Pirates go far. They haven't made it in the playoffs in so long, so I really, really wish them all the success in this postseason, but not over the Red Sox. I mean, that's, I'm just going to be a homer on that one. But anyway. All right, so let's talk about Mario Baseball and the fact that I am going to use a star swing green Noki here to get some offense started, but not if I have to use like three stars. No, forget it, forget it. I missed one, one was foul. Just, just sit down, just sit down. 
useless. Alright, this brings up Pianta, the player I can consistently do nothing with. I can, can get hits, but he's supposed to be a power character, and it seems like the computer can just... Oh my god, the computer player, if the Pianta gets a hold of the ball, he hits way into the upper deck of the stadium. That was terrible swing, I meant to charge up. Why am I charging up a Toadette anyway? It's just, just swing at the ball. Not that I'm going to hit anything, it's Toadette. There we go. Okay, good, good, a base hit. See, that's what I get. I shouldn't open my mouth. I shouldn't underestimate these characters. I can actually string together some base hits. But see, that's the thing in this game. I'm actually not used to, not that I'm not used to it, but I don't prefer the small ball approach in this game. And what I mean by small ball is exactly that. Like, stringing together all these base hits. Can Fianta make it home? Oh, God, laser beam throw. I forgot about the laser beam throw. Oh, that actually messed things up for me big time. Waluigi with a laser beam throw at second base. Oh, dear. All right, Dixie Kong, now's your time to shine. Oh, wow, that was actually a good, solid contact. Oh, Daisy with a swing and a miss. Or Dixie with a swing and a miss. Oh, man, not that I expected anything, but... Oh, well, that kind of puts a halt to that now, doesn't it? Oh, the four hits with no runs. That's disappointing. All right. Let's see if I can get Firebro out. Nope. <laughs> Firebro is, of course, going to... Oh, no, the Fireball! Fireball! Okay, good. That did not allow for any additional advancement. Maybe could have it, made it to second, but I don't think that slowed me down quite enough. Because I kept the ball in front of me, too. So, I don't think that slowed me down enough where um, Firebro would have been able to advance an extra base. That's not good. That's not good. First two runners on here with no outs. And Black Shy Guy, I like to call him Anti-Guy, even though Anti-Guy is more of a gray color, but still, he's still good. I know all the color palettes are from uh, Yoshi's Story, and not from Pink Mario, but it's still cool. It's still cool. Alright, good. Three pitches, three strikes. On him, that is a pivotal out, because if I get a double play here, that would get me out of the inning. And I would love that. I throw a curveball. I love how you just move the ball back and forth. I don't even know what kind of pitch that would be. All right, ground ball second, get the out there. Oh, but Boo beats out the throw at first. Not bad, at least he's able to record one out. Oh boy, okay, we got Koopa Paratroopa. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, no problem at all. There we go. Apply the tag, and we're out of the inning. Cool, so no runs for either team through two innings. Going into the third inning, we have Yoshi to lead things off top of the order here. So let's see what I can do. Lost a lot of power on that swing, but still it looks like it's gonna be in the gap. That's a Gappa, and that should be a double for the Speedy Yoshi. Remember that the walls of Bowser's Castle are very tall, so the outfield's very shallow. So, a lot of off-the-wall type of hits usually turn into really, really long things. Oh, look at that, making contact with a hard ball. Got it out, but it did advance the run to the third, so I am very happy about that. And now we have Daisy, the captain. All right. Oh, high fly ball. Oh, I'm just going to send Yoshi on that pitch. That is, see like that, it should be a double, but no, see that's, that's such a tough call, because you obviously want to stretch that into a double, that seems like a double all day, but no, that tough high wall, and that ball gets in really quickly, and man, that's tough, but still drove in a run, still an RBI for Dave, count it, oh, that's just a ground ball, Birdo, what's going on, Birdo was my slugger in my let's play of this game, surprising slugger Birdo, is, is doing a lot of nothing in this game so far. But anyway, I jump out to an early lead, once enough. nothing, that's good. That's good anyway. All right, oh, that's just a little foul ball. Look at Noki, Noki going all out to get that foul ball. Oh, right down the line and fair. Oh, that's, that's cheap. But still a long single. See, that's the thing in any other park, that would probably have been a double. And it's just funny because it's Bowser's Castle, but we're not really playing with any power characters. And that's what this park is built for. This is built for a power character team. Oh boy. Not a problem, not a problem. Dixie Kong has that all day. Maybe we just gonna have to run back to first. Excellent. No harm done in that. Alright, Princess versus Princess. I'm surprised it didn't play like that rivalry music he usually plays. That's a long fly ball to nowhere, to foul territory. Alright. Strike, and we're gonna finish up with the change up, hopefully. Oh no, oh, 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 what the, what? That wasn't even charged at all. What? No way, no way did Princess Peach do that without charging up her swing at all. 
hits the ball, and not even, not even was it over the fence. It went between the thwops. Do you see that? The thwops even came down to try to help me, and it made its way between the thwops, threading the needle on that one. How did that even happen? That is ridiculous, and it's two to one, just like that. Just like that. Princess Peach with one swing of the bat. That wasn't even a power swing. It was just a normal contact. That was ridiculous. See, that was a perfect power swing for Fire Bro, but he just lined up to short. Wow. Okay, not not a big deal though. Only down by one. Can't get too frustrated over that. Got to just string together some offense. Okay, we're back in this situation again. Let's actually start things off on the right foot here. But a single on that lovely star swing. That green character star swing is so good. So good. This will bring up Bianca, who needs to do something here. Oh, jeez. Oh, back, 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 back. Get back. Okay, okay. Don't, I don't need any absurd shenanigans happening here. No double play. Although I think I am going to try to hit and run. Yes, good, good lead, good lead. There we go, that's how a hit and run is done. Should be able to get all the way to third on that one, that is great. Oh, I should have, I could have advanced to second if I knew Boo was gonna do this weak little throw to third base. But that's okay, that's okay. Now I'm gonna try a squeeze, bunt, to bring in the runners here. Yes, that'll definitely bring in Noki. That's okay, it's gonna cost me an out at first, but that'll tie the game two to two. Just FYI. Um, Oh boy, oh boy. Ugh, that was way outside, I should've just let that go by. Um, I know it's never really advantageous to bunt, or do a squeeze bunt, or steal, really. I mean, if you look at it from a saber perspective. Oh wow, that was a big play at third. That was a play, actually. Very, very good. But, um, but in Mario Baseball, those strategies work out so well. So, there's no reason to not do that. Especially when you, if you just need one run, that is almost always going to come through. But it could also backfire big time. So just be careful if you do that. So don't be like, you know, you can watch this happen and then you go to manage a baseball team and you're setting up these suicide squeeze bunts and, and all sorts of nonsense that probably won't work. So I'm just, just letting you know. Hey, 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 Yoshi, what the heck? What the heck was that? Why was I not controlling? I was mashing the B button. But it seemed like Baby Mario was the one that was taking off. Look at the replay. Look at the replay. I am in control of Yoshi. But see, I'm mashing the turbo button, but Baby Mario has the turbo on, not Yoshi. What's up with that? I should have been able to cut that ball off. Oh, this game is this game is ridiculous. That's the only word that I can really use to describe this game so far. Ridiculous. Oh, with Peach threading the needle. I still can't get over that. That that went between the thwomps there in, in right field. That is ridiculous. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Get the ball in. Get the ball in. Still no outs either. Oh, this could be, this could be problematic. This could be a problematic inning. Um, make sure no one's stealing. No, no one was on, on for the steal, so that's good. Okay. Oh, this would be a crucial out. This would be an absolutely crucial out. Going for the change up. Oh, fair right down the line. Right down the line. Can I get the ball and not run around it, please? Oh, oh man, right down the third base line. Wow, that was perfectly placed. Uh -huh. Kuma Paratrooper extends their lead to two runs. This is kind of a trend. I'm working out of a hole here all the time. What the heck? Another star swing. Rising another run. It's five to two. Five to two. Oh, I'm just falling further and further behind. But still have four innings to come back. So I can't. Uh, five innings, actually. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, five innings left. So, oh boy. Harmless fly ball, nothing doing there. Okay, that was a pivotal, pivotal out. Although not as much as before, it would have been nice to get an out like that. Uh, well, actually, it wouldn't have, because then they would have tagged up and scored. Okay, that's like good, good, good. I don't know why Koopa Paratrooper was hanging in no man's land over there. But three runs in the bottom of the fourth. Okay, we need some run production. We have the top of the order coming up. This never seems to go well, though. But hey, let's see what I mean. uh, I'd like to land on that star panel. That would be very, very handy. All right, come on, get by, get by, get by. The magical, oh, that takes way too long. That magical catch that Magic, that Magic Koopa has. I don't know why they have it short. That just takes way too long to do. And it's just never worth it. Okay, that'll fall in for another hit. Can I send Yoshi to third? I am damn well gonna try, and he makes it safely. He is a speedy character around the bases. No hesitation there. And now we have Daisy, the team captain. That was a change up right down the middle of the plate. Yoshi will definitely score on that. I think that should be a double. Yes, oh, barely. 
barely a double, but that time I was able to stretch it out into a double. That's great. That is some offense right there. I love it. I love it. I love it. Alright, Daisy drives yet another run for a team. Oh, and Birdo. Birdo the slugger. Now is your time to shine, Birdo. Come on. Show everyone why I love you. There we go. That works. That works. It's a base hit driving another run. Making it five to four. Coming back, baby. Coming back. Not being discouraged. This is what happens. Oh, and Noki. Noki's up with the star swing. Noki has that lovely star swing that everyone... That is just fantastic. If I can make contact. And not hit fall. Oh, jeez. See? This is what I'm talking about. I'm just going to drain through all my stars. But... But... Oh, jeez. Oh, Noki. Not only did you cost me three stars, but you cost me two outs on that play. I am horribly disappointed. Okay, okay but Pianta, prove me wrong here. I don't give much faith to Pianta only because I can never seem to do anything with him. But that little hit to right field will tie the game at five to five. Look at that. Three out or three three out rally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, I know baseball. A three out rally. A three run rally to tie the game here and Peach has to sit down. In comes Purple Toad. I don't know why they put Peach in catcher. That's so... Why have Peach catch? That wastes a perfect fielding opportunity there. But anyway, this thing this thing might open up right now because with Purple Toad on the mound... I don't... Why not put Waluigi on the mound? This, this team has so much pitching potential and you sub in Purple Toad. Not Nothing against Purple Toad, but I mean, you have so many better choices. Anyway. Not that I'm complaining, but five runs in the top of the fifth ties the game. Five to five in the fifth. This is great. And Daisy's still going to go strong on the mound, of course. Oh, Dixie Kong, showing that range and flashing the leather there and left. That was awesome. That was awesome. That brings up Fire Bro here. Ah, uh, he's going to get a face hit right up the middle. It's okay. I kind of left that one over the plate. If you notice that pitch. I really, actually, I really can't afford... Oh, Toad's showing bunt right there. Oh, pull it back in time. Still showing bunt? Make sure we're not stealing. Not doing a... Wow, I'm surprised that Toad is showing bunt. I don't know why. I guess to advance the runner, but that wasn't a very good bunt. I probably could have thrown out Firebro in second. But anyways, computer trying some weird tactics. I don't know if I'd do that. Maybe with two out, or maybe with no outs, but with one out, I don't know if I would have attempted that. But anyway, still five to five, heading into the top of the sixth. This is exciting. This ex I love these close games. It's so much better. I mean, as much as I love blowouts, like, but in my Let's Play, when I was Bowser's team, you know, Bowser's team just destroys every other team. So, in challenge mode. So, it's just not even fair. As much as I love those kinds of games, you know, it's it's great to have a close game, too, if you come out on top of it. But it just adds so much suspense, and it's just a lot of fun. That's going to be a big fly ball out to right field. Watch out for those fireballs out there. One out. All right, Toad's work. Oh, down the third base line. Bah! I love when you, that, that, when you hear it on the radio. If you ever listen to a baseball game on the radio, it can actually be pretty funny. If, like, a, a player hits a foul ball, the, the radio announcer would be like, And it's driven! Ball out, right deep! Back, 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 back! Foul! It's so anticlimactic. It's just like, what? They're expecting a home run. Foul! Oh, boy, is that going to fall in? Oh, it did. Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Damn. Damn. That was tough. That was tough. Base running problems in Mario Baseball. But see, ideally what I would have had is to stand kind of halfway between the bases there. But you can't do that in Mario Baseball. Oh, Boo with a big catch up there. Probably saves the run. Saves the go-ahead run. At least the go-ahead run with that catch. Still 5-5 five to five going to the bottom of the sixth. <laughs> Yoshi. Yoshi screaming out in pain for no reason. Yoshi, calm down. I've noticed that happens sometimes. I don't know if you noticed in, in my Let's Play that happened a few times, too. Where characters just randomly grunt out. And I think it has to do with the fact that as they're running in from from recording the third out, or maybe as they're running out to the field, I don't know what it is. That was, that was an abysmal punt down the first line. Although, I guess, like I said, I'm eating my own words. I would have tried that with no outs, and they did try that with no outs and succeeded. So, I don't know. Are they going to try it again, though? <laughs> no, they will not. Um, but yeah, that, that's just weird. I think that random noise happens when they hit a force hazard on their way in transition, which is kind of weird. But anyway, that's three outs. No harm done in that little tiny base hit thing, or bunt, no, in that bunt and base hit. So no big deal, no big deal. All right, Green Noki, we have all our stars back. So let's actually get, what the heck? This star swing is not working out for me. That's just a line drive to short. Ugh. 
Alright, Piazza. Piazza, time to show your stuff. Okay, face it to center. Don't get thrown out from center field. That would be even worse than getting thrown out from right field. Totally a random thought, by the way. I was just thinking about this uh, the other day. I should totally do a video where I play baseball, like live, in person, and show you guys how to play. And that I can actually play it. I'm not just full of crap. But I'm like, oh yeah, I played baseball, and I know how to play. I mean, I consider myself a pretty good player, so it would be actually kind of cool if you saw me in action actually play some real swings. I think that would be, that would be pretty cool. Maybe after all this, all this stuff. I think that would be a fun, that would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. Because I do want to start up uh, some new Let's Plays as well. So that would be, that will be great. I'm not going to obviously tell you what they are, but I'm just going to say, I'll, I will say, um, if you did like Mario Baseball, you are going to like my next one. For sure. For sure. So I'll leave it at that. I will leave it at that. But anyway, there we go. Strike out. Strike out there. And that brings Waluigi to the plate. Let's see, this is another big rivalry too, a big matchup. These <laughs> characters that have appeared in spin-offs. Although Daisy, Daisy is legitimate. I mean, I, Waluigi still hasn't appeared in like a real adventure game. He's kind of just a placeholder roster spot for spin-off games. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's going to be not even close to a block. Firebro driving that way out to left for a home run. And that is the go-ahead run. That is going to be 6-5. to five. And I once again have to come back in the late innings. Wow, and I don't want Daisy to leave. Because I really don't have anyone else to sub in. I have, I have no one. Uh, so please do not give up another one. Please, please, please. Okay. Alright, scary fly ball, but ultimately harmless. But the Peach Dynasties take the lead in the seventh inning. And now we have 9, 1, and 2 coming up to bat. So that's kind of crazy. Let's see what I can do here. Let's see if Dixie Kong can start things up. You know, I've actually, this was way long ago, but I actually did hit a home run with Dixie Kong once. And I didn't, I didn't think it was possible. But I guess if you get perfect contact and just everything goes right, I don't know, it was, it was weird. But I, I'm not gonna count on that happening, of course, but it was just funny. It actually did happen. No, D Dixie Kong's just gonna strike out for me. Okay, still need to catch up. I need this run because I'm gonna lose. I don't want to lose. Oh, uh, oh, a bobble at third. That could prove unbelievably costly for the Peach Dynasty. Let's see what happens here because now I have Toadsworth. Toadsworth with a base hit. And again, Yoshi's going to advance to third. He can definitely get there. He has the speed. No problem. So just like that, it's first and third with one out. And that brings up Daisy. I'm going to try the star swing here. We need the star swing to drive the run. Right, let's see what happens. Hold on. Hold everyone. Hold everyone. Good, 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 good. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Toadsworth making a second. Awesome. And that'll tie the game. Six to six. Oh, this is great. That was great by Daisy. Look at that. Not only was it a star swing, which is awesome, which is beautifully executed, but it was right in the gap, too. That would have been tough to get anyway. So that was great. And now we have Birdo. Birdo off the plate. Let's see what Birdo can do. I'm telling you, Birdo's got the power, and there it is right there. There it is. That's going to bring in one more run to make it seven to six. So just like that, I was complaining about being in a deficit. Now I take the lead after that error at third base by Black Shy Guy. Remember that? That proved really costly. That could have that could have just squandered my whole offense. But nope. Allows a runner to reach. And just like that, threatening again here. Threatening again. Two runners are going to this time. And that would be, yes, that might that's definitely gonna drive in another one. That makes it eight to six. Oh boy, see how errors can be so costly to the team? Oh man, errors are, are just the worst. Okay, alright, here comes Fiance. Oh man, that's gonna be... Oh wow, look at Waluigi showing the athleticism. A big play, but it does drive in another run. So actually, I'm happy about that. I will sacrifice an out for a run. Fiance making it 9-6. to six, Or 6-9, six, if you prefer to see it that way. Oh, <laughs> Toad has that fast starfish. I love that. Oh, perfect contact! Oh, wow, that actually was a hit. And I'm not going to be able to make it home. Three no key. Especially... No, no, no. I wasn't, that wasn't even going to happen, though. Alright, two outs. Let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, boy. I, I really don't know what to do. This is actually kind of cool. This is nerve-wracking. I want to tack on more runs, but I kind of have all these little not-so-powerful hitters, so it's not very easy. Alright, Magic Koopa. I will get the out in second. That's alright. That's alright. Look at that. Nine runs on 23 hits. Not very efficient. 
but still, that's that is a lot of offense. That is great. That is great to see that. Okay, that's a foul ball. Now I gotta hold them here. I still have to hold them in two innings. Um, because they're home team, don't forget, so they'll be batting in the bottom of the ninth. So I still have to prevent them from scoring, and that's not as easy as it sounds. And especially since if I let them score one more run, then Daisy will have to sit down because Daisy will get tired. And I definitely don't want that to happen. What the heck? What is this? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. See, right when you thought you're in the clear, you were never in the clear. I'm trying to induce a double play. There we go. There we go. I'll take it out. Have a run score. Oh, that wasn't even a double play. Paratrooper with the speed. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Got to swap. Got to swap. Who's my next best pitcher? Probably, probably Yoshi. But I really don't want to switch in Yoshi. You know what? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Birdo on the mound. I'm going to put Birdo on the mound. Here we go, Birdo. A bunt. Another bunt attempt. Not sure what's up with that. That was a foul ball. That was a terrible bunt. Maybe Luigi squaring to bunt. Oh, good bunt. That was a good jump. Third baseline. Oh, what was that, Daisy? Daisy, come on, feel that ball cleanly. You don't have to dive and do all sorts of crazy nonsense. All right, that was not a good one, but no. But everyone's gonna be safe because I threw the ball to second base instead of throwing it to first base. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Playing sloppy. Definitely cannot afford to do that at this time. Oh dear. Base is loaded. Princess Peach up to bat. The team captain. Can't she come through or Roberto shut her down? Oh good. That's a double play ball all day. Yes. Gets out of a base is loaded jam with a double play ball. That was great. They tack on one more, but I'm still up by two. Nine to seven. Going into the top of the ninth. Okay, there we go. That's good. That's good. That's a good way to start things off. Is that that's like the 25th base hit. That's great. My offense is, is doing great today. But so is there. So that's what's scary. Uh, okay, that looks like it's gonna be in the gap. Yeah, no one's catching up to that. Yoshi can stretch that into a double because he is fast around the base. Oh, while we got the laser beam. Everybody get back. Retreat. We got the laser beam throw. Oh, I hate that thing. Oh, Toad. Oh, yes. Toad's worth. Toad's worth. That makes it 10 to 7. I'm not gonna risk going a second, but that. Oh, we'll drive it two runs actually. Make it 11 to 7. That was awesome. That was great, Toadsworth. And now they need a third pitcher. Will they actually put on Waluigi or Boo? No, they will not go to their aces. They're going with Koopa Paratroopa. I don't know how he's going to do on the mound, but we'll find out. No. Ball ball. Oh, man. Big whiff. <laughs> you can feel the breeze on that one. Uh, oh, that looks like it's going to be in the gap, but I think Baby Luigi will catch it. Yeah, Baby Luigi's got the range out there. If there's one thing the babies are good for, it is catching those types of balls because they, they are good in the field. They can't do much at the plate, or they, they, their arms are pretty terrible as well, but but they do have the field. They do have the field. Alright, green Noki. Green Noki. Let's do it. Uh, I'm not going to use a star, only because, only because I can do that. I don't need a star. But I want to save my stars defensively because I have a feeling I might need them in like some crucial, crucial situations. Ah, Pianta. That's what Pianta used to do for me all the time. That's what I'm used to him doing. Is just popping out to shallow right or left field or and just being useless. Okay, this is it. The bottom of the knife. I have a four-run cushion to work with. So this should not be a problem, but could always be a problem, especially when the computer's on the highest difficulty. Ah, base hit. Base hit to start things off. Okay, okay. That run means nothing. Both these runs mean nothing, but I'd like to put some outs. That's the thing, is these runs, like if, if Waluigi scores, even if Firebro scores, it means nothing to me. But I would like to record some outs on these guys so we don't get up to the pivotal runs. Toad means nothing, but still, I'd like to get him out. Okay, that's a double play ball. Double play ball. Alright, alright. See, Waluigi, that's why. Norm, sometimes, if that was like a one-run game, if this was a one-run game, I would have thrown the ball to the third and try to get Waluigi out, even if I couldn't have. Um, but since it's, since I have a four-run cushion, I don't really care if Waluigi scores, so I had to go for the outs where I can get them. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's how baseball changes. That's why I love baseball. It's a strategic sport in that regard. But that's it. On a strikeout, Black Shy Guy just looks at strike three and looks at his team's victories, chances, just going past him. 
11 to 7, the Daisy Lilies triumph over the Peach Dynasties. <laughs> I have to be able to say those names. Those are complicated team names. But Birdo getting MVP, and rightfully so. That was awesome. That was awesome. We gotta check out the stats here. I wanna see the box score. Uh, see, that's the thing. I wish they had more detailed stats. It's Mario Baseball. You expect 27 hits for my team and 11 runs. That is great. Let's look at the scores here. The Daisy Lilies batting 540. So more than half the time up to bat, I got a hit. Everyone got at least one hit, which is great. I love to see that. I hate to see when a player does nothing, but everyone got at least one hit. Look at Toadette batting 800. That is awesome. And Toadsworth, 833. Wow, fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, Birdo came in and just shut them down. Uh, just no runs allowed at all. Daisy had a rough day on the mound, but hey, it comes out with a W in the end. So that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, well, that was a fun Mario Baseball game. That was intense right up until the end when I kind of blew things open. But anyway, uh, we have more MLB playoffs to go. We have the AL wildcard game tonight. If I had to make a prediction, it's Rays versus Indians. If I make a prediction, I'm going to say Tampa Bay, but I would like to see Cleveland. That's what I'm going to say. If I had to bet money, I'd say Tampa Bay is going to win, but I would like to see the Cleveland Indians win. Anyway, this is Shadow Mario 41. See you guys for more Mario Superstar Baseball whenever I decide to do it. Ciao.